أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. There is a brother who asked a question here. You understand regarding one hadith that is it true that Khalif Abu Bakr and Umar are the leaders of all the people in paradise? He said that is it true or is not true? Before I can answer anything, we said after the death of Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم, many people fabricated a lot of hadith. You understand? Fabricated a lot of traditions for different. Our reason is, for example, fanatic reason is a need to destroy Islam, need for repetition, uh, that, uh, someone, that whenever someone uh, reports many traditions, he can be recognized, like the likes of Abu Huraira. Then, uh, like, a need for economic factors, like hadith that however buys some onions from a given city, enters paradise, and others. All those traditions we saw, we saw that they are fake. You understand, and they are not uh, reliable. To go on, we say that there is a tradition also which speaks about the leaders of uh, all the women in paradise. We say that uh, there are four leaders of uh, all the women in paradise. Number one is the Virgin Maria, you understand. Number two, Asiya Binti, Muzakham, uh, Khadija, and Fatima to Zahara, Aleyha, Salam, in uh, a book called Msadiq al Hakam, uh, volume four, page number 262. Then this hadith. That uh, Khalif Abu Bakr and Umar, that they are the leaders of all the people in paradise. You can find it in uh, Fadha il Sahaba by Ahmad ibn Hanbali. You understand? Uh, he said that uh, Abu Huraira is the one who reports it. He said that, Ya Ali, you, that Prophet Muhammad said that, Oh Ali, alayhi salatu wa salam, Hadhani Sayyida Kuhuli Ahl al Jannah, that these two are the leaders of all, all the people in paradise. You understand? Uh, the question is, do we have any verse which say that uh, the people in paradise will be old? You understand? That they will be in old age? Do we, have any question? Do we have any verse which speaks about it? According to me, I've never seen that verse. I've never seen that verse. But all the verses we have, for instance, in Surah Al-Insan, verse number 19, it, simp uh, it says that, وَيَطُوفَ عَلَيْهِمْ وَيْدَانُنُ مُخَلَّدُونَ You understand? That around them shall go youth never alterating uh, in age. You understand? Therefore, in brief, this verse is simply saying that the people in paradise will be youth and their age will not be changing. They will not be, they, uh, they will not be becoming old and others. Therefore, also in our sword, sword, verse number 52, it speaks about the same thing. Therefore, in brief, brother, as we said, we have got a lot of fake traditions. We see that the Israelites funded a lot of people to fabricate a lot of traditions. We also saw that after the death of Prophet Muhammad, people changed. The Sahabas changed. You understand? They changed for selfish interest. They changed due to selfish interest. You understand? So some of them ended up fabricating hadith and others. And the right tradition says, the authentic tradition says that Imam Al Hassan was Hussein. Sayyid al-Shabaab, Ahl al-Jannah. Imam al-Hassan and Hussain, they are the leaders of all people in paradise. You understand? Therefore, what I'm trying to say, all people in paradise will be youth. You understand? And uh, this, and we say that when a hadith matches with Holy Quran, we take it. And once uh, it does not move, it contradicts with Holy Quran, we leave it. Like that tradition which says that uh, Khalif Abu Bakr and Umar are the leaders of all the people in paradise. We, we have seen using Holy Quran that in paradise we shall not be having all the people in paradise. All of them will be youth. You understand? Then I find brief. That's it briefly. Brothers and sisters, kindly keep sharing up to last person. Wassalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.